So we have different type of foundation. I can summarize them. We can classify type of foundation to two types. Shallow foundation and the deep foundations. Shallow foundation may be footing for any kind of footing or raft. Raft or footing, we can call it shallow foundation. You need to excavate only five feet, 10 feet, and put your foundation. But for deep foundation, no need to reach very deep length inside the soil. Your footing may be isolated footing, maybe combined footing, maybe strap footing, maybe strap footing. Any questions so far? It's very important to understand or to learn what is the availability, what is the optional, what is the options available to choose what type of foundation do you need. But we have another important question. Do you know? Okay, I will start to construct a new building in my project, maybe, capstone project. Can you tell me, how can I choose footing or raft or vines? First decision, first question, what do you think? We have 100 floor. Do you think footing will be good? Maybe, raft, maybe, bites, I don't know. Uh, if your building is five floors only, do you think uh, uh, footing will be enough? Maybe, or raft? I have no idea. Maybe bites. Sometimes we have building for one floor and you have to construct bites. Sometimes you can construct 10 floors and we can use footing. So it doesn't depend on uh, how many floors do you have. We have another option, we have another factors can affect your choice. Do you know what these factors? Type of soil. soil. Maybe you have one floor, yes, one floor, but your soil is very clay. You cannot construct anything. If you have some water, some rainfall or something, you have mud in your soil. So I cannot construct anything on this soil. So I have to go deep in the soil. So I need to construct pipes. Sometimes we have 10 floors, but your ground surface, we have very stiff soil. Uh, gravel by sand, by rocks, very stiff. So we can construct footing, that's fine. So we need to understand something, how can I select the type of foundation? We can do some calculations, a little bit calculations, without any uh, software or anything, just your calculator. And I can tell you which type of foundation is the perfect selection. Um, we need to, co uh, to calculate something called the stress. Stress means force divide area. If you get this stress, divide this stress by something called bearing capacity. If your number is less than 0.67, which is two third, footing will be good. If this number between two third and one, raft will be good. If this number is greater than one, no, you have to construct bites. But wait. What you mean by weight of the structure? Area of the structure. If you divide this one by this one, you can get stress. Anybody here, we have area of building, 10 feet, find 10 feet. And we are going to construct building on this area for 10 floors. Anybody can tell me what is the weight of this building? Wait, just estimation. Do you know how can? Materials of the... Yeah, weight of each material on this building. Uh, but before starting, uh, I will do some estimation. But if you would like to get the accurate weight of your building. Do you remember last time 
we construct building on Riza floor. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. It is your call. And you see, I show you how to design your slab. That's right. Do you remember these contour lines, uh, colors? Okay. Uh, if you go to results and column reaction, the software can tell you how much reaction for each call. That's right. If you make some mission for all of these reactions, what is the result? Wait. Yes, wait for this floor. If we multiply this weight by 10 floors, I can get the weight of the whole building. That's right. That's right. This floor is supported by these columns. If you are able by some, re by some way to get your reactions for these columns and make some mission for reactions, summation of reaction equal weight of one floor. Because you're already drawing one floor only, on reason. If you multiply this weight of one floor or summation of this reaction by 10 floor, which is the number of your floors, you can get weight of your building. If you have Riza model. But if you don't have, I would like to calculate the weight of my building just roughly. Okay. Do you have dead load? Yeah, your dead load equal TS time gamma concrete. T slab, maybe four inch, maybe five inch, maybe maximum six inch thickness of your slab. You can assume it five inch. Okay, five inch. Divided it by 12 to be in feet. Multiplied by 150 gamma for reinforced concrete. Perfect. Plus, life load. What type of this building? Is it office building? Yes. So we can take your life load equal how much? 30, maybe, <coughs> PSF, which means bound per square feet. So we have dead load plus life load, add them together, just roughly. Multiply this value by area <coughs> of flow area of floor, which is the area of your land. So 10 feet times 10 feet. The total time n, n number of floors. So just roughly, I can tell you how much weight for this building. If I know what is the area of this building. Just assume your dead load, TS time gap. Assume thickness for your slab, something like four inch, five inch. <coughs> Divided it by 12 to make your unit consistent. Time 150 gamma concrete. Plus your life load, I will, my building is an office building, so life load 30 pound per feet square. Add bit plus life, then time area of one floor, this value can tell you how much weight for one floor. If you multiply this value by n number of floors, I can tell you what is the total weight of it. Get this value to be divided by area of building, I can get stress. Because you have force, divide area. I can get stress. Any question? This stress, you can divide it by something called bearing capacity. I forget to say something about 
Boring. Boring can tell you we have different type of soil, different layers of soil, and also can tell you what is the bearing capacity of each soil, what is the strength, what is the capacity for each layer of soil. So, for example, if your material is rock, this rock can support stress or pressure bound per square feet, 6,000. If your soil is sandy gravel or gravel, can support 5,000. Who can tell me these numbers? During your boring, we can do some tests on soil, in the soil lab, and these test results can tell you what is the bearing capacity of soil. So, this number, must be coming from soil report or boring report. If you, multi if you divide your stress by bearing capacity of your soil, your number is less than 0 0.67. I suggest you use footing. This number between 0 0.67 and 1, I suggest you use raft. This number greater than 1, you have to use pipes. I have a question. What is the meaning of stress? Divide bearing capacity greater than one. What do you mean? What does it mean? Stress is the actual <coughs> stress on, in your soil. Weight of your structure divided by area can tell you how much stress on the soil. If this stress greater than the bearing capacity of soil, the strength of your soil. So the actual stress is greater than the strength of the soil. Do you think this soil can support? Yeah. So we need bites. We need to reach another layer can support this load by bites. If this stress less, less than bearing capacity, okay, we can use footing, we can use raft. That's fine. So just uh, information about how to select your uh, foundation. And we learned many topics, many uh, types about foundation. We have isolated footing, we have combined, we have strip, we have strap, we have raft, we have piles. And we have something called boring. Uh, geotechnical engineer, bearing capacity is the capacity of soil to support loads applied to the ground. Anyway, okay, we need to start. We have a building like this. We already constructed uh, or model one floor with column on reason. And I can tell you what is the reaction of each column. I can tell you what is the bending moment in your slab. I can tell you what is the bending moment on each beam, if you have beam. But these columns will be supported by soil, by something <coughs> called foundation. My choice is isolated food. I would like to design this isolated food. Anybody remember what is the question to design your footing? Yeah, I would like someone to answer. What is the dimension? L and B of your foot. What is the total thickness of your footing? How much is the reinforcement in this direction? And how much is the reinforcement in the other direction? If you answer these questions, I am done with my foot. That's right. So, for example, I would like to design this footing. So I want someone to tell me what is the dimension? What is the total thickness? How much is the reinforcement in this direction and this direction? One layer only at the bottom. I have a question. Uh, do you know uh, P ultimate here? How can I get this value? Summation of all the other. Yes, yes, yes. 
أبداً لو أردان أون ريزا يور رياكشن هير أونلي فور ون فلور سو يو هاف تو مالتبلاي ذيس رياكشن باي 1 2 3 4 5 فلور تو جيت يور بي يور فونديشن That's right. That's right. So remember, if you model your, if you uh, model your structure on Riza, this reaction on your column only reaction for one flow. If you would like to design your column, design of column, you have to multiply this reaction by how many flows? If you would like to design your foundation, you have to multiply this reaction by how many floors do you have? Remember it. Remember, don't use this reaction in your design of column or foundation. No, you are modeling one floor only. So you have to multiply by many uh, number of floors. Anyway, we have some steps. As you remember, design is steps. You have to follow. First step, second step, third step, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, just seven steps. Hmm. Just only to design one foot, only one. Okay, let's start. We need find surface dead and life loot. We need your reaction in surface loot. Surface dead loot plus surface life loot, and we need your reaction on the column factored loot. So your surface dead loot should be multiplied by 1.2, and your life loot should be multiplied by 1.6. So we need two reactions: one surface and one output. One surface without any factor, and <coughs> another one with factor. Why? We will see later. Any questions so far? So, in your reason, we have different uh, options. You can show up your dead load reaction only. You can show up your life load reaction.